Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today I bring you guys another video of freaking Persona 5X, and we're back with another, of course, update video. Now, this is gonna be for 1.3.1, but I'm mainly gonna be focusing on the changes for Yusuke. So, we're gonna go over like everything inside of this update, I wanna say either later on today or tomorrow. So if you guys wanna wait on that, be sure to wait on that here, but I'm morally interested into Yusuke here. So, we're just gonna go ahead, watch through some of this here immediately. But main of our deal is, holy crap, there's a lot of things coming. So of course, as we expected, Madarame's palace is gonna be here. Um, very, very interested, of course. And we have the man Yusuke himself. Now, Yusuke is fairly interesting because when it came down to his character, he used to be a defender, but it looks like things have freaking changed. So I am very, very excited to actually go over that. And so, um. We'll go actually more over this in a second here, but oh my god, this this is what we want to get into. This right here. So Yusuke is gonna be our first five-star limited character here, in which uh or at least five-star limited ice character here, in which he has a lot of things to bring to the table. He is actually gonna be an AoE DPS instead of a defender, in which this man is going to be pumping out AoE ice damage like a madman while also having a counter-attack. Now as you can see, he's able to even enhance himself, and that's kind of interesting as well, in which I think that's how he actually is able to proc off this counterattack, which is fairly, fairly interesting. But not only is the counterattack now changed from one enemy, it is now actually a multiple enemy move here, which is crazy insane, seeing how sick this character is going to be. Now, of course, he comes with his limited own little uh, weapon as well, in which, dang, it looks nice. Can't lie. The actual freaking weapon looks crazy, really like crazy good in my opinion. And I can't wait to really break down this character entirely. Now, as we can tell, this is one of the things I wanted to go over kind of in a different video, but this is also gonna be coming out with an event. Uh, Z Makoto is gonna be coming out later on as well, but um, it's gonna be crazy interesting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go back and analyze this character a little bit here. So Yusuke, as I did say, was a defender at one point here. He was not always a character who was meant to be a AOE attacker. He was more on the defensive side. So if we take that in account, or at least if we take that uh, overall and actually go over pretty much how this is gonna be going here, um, you guys wanna look at this here. So we do have a little bit of a kit thing that luckily from one of the other discords, they ended up letting me go ahead and look at here. But one of the things we want to look at is Fox himself or Yusuke. So he went from a defender ice character to more of a AOE DPS type character here, which had a base chance to freeze immediately with a single target, one AOE here and a taunting counter attack. So this is very interesting because now he, because they had a shield and everything planned for him. He had defense raised around him here and was able to attack all enemies on this here instead now it's kind of different right as you can see since he's more of an aoe character he doesn't look like he has that single target ordeal anymore now he did attack with a single target there right which was some sort of a counter attack here but he's mainly this aoe type of person as we can see we have the aoe first skill the aoe second skill immediately going with him buffing himself in which this buff gives him a shield here and it seems like this one then allows him to do his AOE actual counter attack. So with that in mind, with at least this in mind here, he still does have a single target counter attack from the looks of it. But if you do have an enhanced, AKA his third skill that we talked about just right here being the supporter skill, he's actually able to go ahead and attack everyone while also having some nice little additions here. Now I will have full translations out about this very, very soon. So of course, if you guys uh, do wanna know about that later on, be sure to, of course, let me know. But what do you guys think about this here? Cause we do know now he is officially changed. He's now officially here. He's all about this here. And I'm very excited to see exactly how this will affect his character overall. But um, you guys let me know about this. I'm probably gonna have a breakdown over this whole trailer later on tonight here. I am very excited because I can't lie, this character is definitely one of my dang favorite units. And ooh, we even have a new little boss here that he's most likely going to be uh, 
the head honcho in as well. So picking him up is going to be crazy, crazy nice. Um, I think I still I think we still have like two to three weeks till he drops for a uh, TW. So uh, it does give me a little bit of time to at least get some things ready for him. But uh, I'm very, very excited. Can't lie. Um, this character is going to be absolutely goaded. But yeah, once again, you guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And uh, yeah, till next time, everybody stay safe, stay sharp and stay determined. I got to get the work. So peace out.